Research by Columbia University found that when presented with a choice of 24 flavours of jam, just 3% of consumers made a purchase. By contrast, when presented with six flavours of jam, 30% of consumers made a purchase. Choice architecture can have a dramatic impact on sales. Road safety research has consistently found that 58% of teen motor vehicle crashes are caused by distraction, that 97% of teens agree that texting whilst driving is dangerous, and that 43% of teens who know it is dangerous text anyway. Education is rarely an effective way of changing consumer behaviour. These types of consumer insights are critical to cost-effective marketing. In 2017, there were 80 terrorist attacks in Europe. In 1972, there were 300 terrorist attacks in Europe. Indeed, the only years with lower levels of terrorist attack than 2017 since 1970 were 1970 itself and the years 2003 to 2008. That most consumers think that terrorism has been at its worst since 9-11 is evidence of both the availability bias and the confirmation bias. Some 54% of US citizens are on a diet. At any one time, more than 2 million Australians are on a diet. And by the time the average Australian woman is 45, she's tried an average of 61 diets. This is despite the fact that some 69% of diets fail. This is evidence of the bandwagon bias and the social norm bias. Managing and leveraging the 25 social or cognitive biases that influence consumer behaviour is central to cost-effective marketing. A study by Captral found that in treating migraines, the placebo was 50% as effective as the real drug. In other words, a treatment with no efficacy at all was effective in half the cases tested. This demonstrates the power of the placebo, a very effective tool for increasing margins and a very effective tool used in driving the success of both Nurofen and Panadol. Research completed by Harvard University professor Gerald Zoltman suggested that 95% of consumer decision making is unconscious, occurring in the brainstem or the limbic system. That only 5% of consumer decision making involves intellect and the neocortex highlights the importance of emotions in marketing. Understanding and leveraging how the consumer brain works is central to cost-effective marketing. Research psychologist Jesse Chandler found that with Hurricane Rita in 2006, people named Robert, Ralph, Rose, or some other name beginning with R, donated an average of 260% more than people with other names, whilst Adam Alter found that in 2013, Hurricane David, a name shared by 3.5 million Americans, led, significant, led to significantly higher fundraising than Hurricane Joyce, a name shared by 6,000 Americans, or Hurricane Dorian, a name shared by 9,000 Americans. Hoping to find a better approach to reducing spillage and therefore cleaning requirements, researchers place an image of a small fly at the base of urinals in men's toilets. One study reported a 50% reduction in the splash, or at least the liquid on the floor. Some 60 to 70% of users intentionally 
aimed at the fly. Both of these studies highlight the power of simple, inexpensive psychological triggers. Understanding and leveraging the power of psychological triggers is central to cost-effective marketing. In 2007, Joshua Bell played in the Washington subway. During the session, Bell raised $52.17, which included $20 from a person who knew who he was. Just $32.17 was raised from passers-by. This is despite the fact that it normally costs hundreds of dollars a ticket to hear Bell, one of the world's best and most renowned violinists. A famous Stanford University study found that when a wine was priced at $45, it received a 17% higher rating by consumers than the same wine priced at $5. It was further found that a wine priced at $90 received a 27% higher rating than the same wine priced at $10. These studies demonstrate how dramatically our perception is affected by our expectations and indeed price. Understanding and leveraging the influence of expectations, knowledge and indeed price are central to effective marketing. In 2021, there is a wealth of scientific data, including consumer insights, neuropsychological studies and behavioural economic research that marketers can and should use to maximise the cost efficiency of brand, marketing and communication strategy. Embracing consumer behaviour is central to developing a genuine consumer focus. I have been studying consumer behaviour for 30 years. My business has been applying what I've learned to develop and implement branding, marketing and communication strategy, taking into account the human biases that influence behaviour, the psychological triggers that encourage behaviours and the psychographic variables that drive consumer behaviour. My background is in the behavioural sciences. Together with the experience I've gained working at all levels of government, the private sector and the not-for-profit organisations, has enabled me to develop unique, cost-effective and customised strategies that maximise performance. 30 years advising businesses all over Australia has also taught me that clients expect and deserve an accurate cost estimate up front and the delivery of all outcomes on time to budget and to specification. These days I only work with clients I respect and enjoy working with. That, this ensures that I have the passion to perform. For more, visit www.djohncarlsonesq.com. It's www.djohncarlsonesq.com. If you need advice or a speaker, contact me, John C at djohncarlsonesq.com. It's John C at djohncarlsonesq.com. Or ring me if you like, 0402 273 350. It's 0402 273 350. I'm John Carlson. Thanks for listening.